All right, so part of the reason why your marketing might not be making you money is because you aren't selling your story in a way that connects with your audience. My biggest example is myself and the Single Wives Club. I literally was only able to connect with people in the way that I did because I was being authentic. There was nothing fraudulent about it. And when you are faking it, people can feel it. People will absolutely feel it when you are being fraudulent. And so if your marketing has not been making you money, it could possibly be because you are not being your authentic self or you are not sharing your story in an authentic way that connects emotionally with your audience. Nine times out of 10, the inspiration behind your business is something that you are super passionate about. It, it, you know, so if you, if you really think about your why, if you really think about your motive behind this business, it's not just making money, right? There was something that inspired you, something that encouraged you, something that said the world needs whatever it is that you have. And so if you really dig deep about your inspiration, if you really dig deep about what you have to offer and what you are bringing to the table, what you are bringing a value to the world that nobody else has, you'll be able to share that in an authentic way that connects with people, okay? So going back to the question of, you know, how do you get media? How do you get press? How do you um, get interviews or get attention or, you know, get followers or uh, get clients? It really, truly, even though this probably isn't the answer that you want to hear, it really, truly starts with knowing who you are, knowing what you have of value to offer, and then positioning that in a way that gets the attention of people, right? That, that gets people interested in what you have, okay? So one of the reasons why your marketing might not be making you any money is because you aren't painting a picture to your audience. You're not positioning yourself in a way that connects to your audience. So you wanna make sure that you are selling your story because again, facts tell, stories sell. When you are being your authentic self, you can sell yourself in a way that doesn't seem like you are a pushy salesman. You won't have to be desperate for sales. You won't be out here trying to work with everybody because you are confident in who you are. And you are going to be attracting people that are like-minded. You're going to be attracting people that, are, um, that see the value in what you have, that don't just like it, right? They're not just liking it on social media, but they are actually purchasing, they're buying, they're converting because they see the value in what you have to offer, okay? So mistake number one that I see a lot of people making is not selling your story, not selling yourself through your marketing. You're making these flyers, you're posting this stuff, but you're not really painting a picture. You're not really sharing a story, okay? The second reason why you might not be making money from your marketing is because nobody knows you. You might be frustrated because you are trying to sell your stuff to your friends and your family, okay? If the only people who knows about your products and your services are the people who love you, that ain't it. That's not really gonna make you money, okay? You are going to exhaust that market really, really fast. Your daddy might buy 10 copies of your book, right? Your mom might purchase 10 of your T-shirts, but after you have like emptied the pockets of the people closest to you, what is going to be your strategy to market to new people? What's going to be your strategy to get, get the word out there to the rest of the world about what it is that you have to offer? Okay. And it's not just about getting a lot of followers because there's people out here who have hundreds of thousands of followers, but they don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's about really creating an engaging relationship with potential customers, with people who can actually turn into dollars, with people who can convert into coins. It's not just about getting 10,000 followers if those 10,000 followers aren't gonna turn into $10,000, $10,000, okay? So you definitely wanna make sure you are strategic in your marketing. You're getting the word, out to people other than the people that are already on your email list. I wasted a lot of time and a lot of energy and found myself feeling very frustrated because I was expecting all of my friends 
and my family and the thousand followers, right, to, to be my customers. You have to make sure there's a strategy in place to get new people on your list, new followers on your page, new traffic to your website on a daily basis. You can't sell to invisible people. You gotta have some people on your list. You gotta have some people to sell to. When it comes to marketing, you're either playing checkers or you're playing chess. Checkers is when you are marketing one to one. You're trying to market your products and your services to one customer, right? You're getting on the phone and you're talking to one person about why they should buy your products. Chess is when you are marketing your products to the audiences of other people. So you're playing on a bigger scale. Instead of trying to sell your product to one person, you are mass marketing. Now you are exposing new audiences to your product. So you could partner with five people. Each of those five people have 5,000 followers. Now, instead of only marketing your stuff to your audience of 5,000, now you're marketing your, your products to an audience of 25,000. You have potential to reach 25,000 new clients, new customers, the potential to get or to have 25,000 people see your products and see your services. That's chess. Mass marketing, marketing your products, positioning yourself in a way, working with partners in a way that you're spreading the word, sharing your story to new audiences. Okay? Sometimes you, you are literally spinning your wheels and you find yourself frustrated because you are so busy trying to market to the same people. You creating this amazing content for social media, but you're not getting any new, any new eyeballs on your page. So the same people that you already made that offer to last month are here to see the same offer next month. You need some new eyeballs on that offer. You need some new traffic to your page. So by partnering with other people, that's a really great way. Strategic partnerships are typically profitable partnerships. I partnered with three other entrepreneurs last summer for a webinar, a free webinar. From doing this free webinar with four other or three other entrepreneurs, it was four of us total, we literally built a list of 5,000 new emails. So all four of us had access to 5,000 new people that we could market our products to. And we ended up making, I want to say like $1,200 each off of a free webinar. Okay. That's the power of partnership. Yes, I could do a webinar on my own all day long, but why market to, to just my audience when I could partner with other people and, and introduce myself to their audience. Sometimes it's not just about making money on the front end. Sometimes you gotta you know, reel them in with a free offer in order to upsell them on the back end. Today I had a meeting with about 10 other entrepreneurs and influencers here in Atlanta about a new project that we're gonna be working on that's really not just gonna make us money, but it's gonna grow our influence. It's gonna grow our brand. All of us are going to be able to bank off of the audience of one another just by working together, just by forming this alliance, just by forming this strategic partnership, okay? And so in order to play chess and not checkers in your marketing, you want to make sure you're partnering with the right people. But the only way for partnerships to really work is for them to be reciprocal. You got to make sure you're bringing something to the table. You got to make sure you have something of value to offer, right? Yesterday, we talked about aligning yourself with bosses. You can't sit at the table with bosses unless you're being bossy yourself, unless you have something bossy to bring to the table, okay? So the second reason why your marketing might not be making you any money is because nobody knows about you, because nobody is seeing this marketing. The third reason why your marketing might not be making you any money is because you're simply not consistent. How dedicated are you to your dreams? 
is that is, is your dedication reflected in the way that you invest in your business is it reflected in the way that you spend your time is it reflected in the way that you prioritize your day how serious are you taking yourself how serious are you about your success what are you doing on a daily basis to market your business what are you doing on a daily basis to make money in your business I recommend that all of my clients dedicate at least one hour of work with an E to their business every single day. One hour. One hour out of your 24 hour day is only 4% of your time. And I'm challenging you to invest at least 4% of your day to your own dreams on a daily basis. 4%, one hour. The work with an E is the effort and the energy that you are putting into your own dreams. Not the stuff that you're doing for everybody else. Not the time and the energy that you're dedicating to everybody else's to-do list. The things that you are literally doing for yourself. So how dedicated are you to your success? How serious are you about your success? What are you doing on a daily basis? Are you consistent in your marketing? Are you consistent in your content creation? Are you consistent? And doing something on a daily basis, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be working while you're on vacation on a daily basis. You can still make money while you're on vacation, but if you aren't going to be physically doing the work, that means that you gotta have email responders doing the work. That means you gotta have opt-ins, landing pages doing the work. That means you gotta have systems to flow, right? Put your business on autopilot. There has to be some structure, some strategies in place in order for you to create consistent income. Sometimes, you know, people have the following. Sometimes it's not that people don't know you. Sometimes it's that people know you, but you don't know you enough. You don't know what you're offering. You're not clear on your value. You don't really know how to package yourself and position yourself in a way that can get you paid. So sometimes it just comes down to having the right strategy. I literally had a session with a client on, I think it was, I want to say it was like April 16th. We talked about creating this new stream. She's in the beauty uh, business and she really wanted to create more passive income in her business. She didn't want to just be on her feet. She didn't want to just be doing faces all day long. And so we literally talked about a strategy for a new stream. And I just followed up with her today. And she has literally added 400 new subscribers to her email. She's created a new funnel. She has a new stream of income. And aside from just that, the one thing that she said today when I followed up with her that really, really stood out to me, she said, I'm actually excited to have more business. Instead of feeling stressed about more business, having to do more things, now she has a strategy. Now she has some structure in place, a system in place where she can add another stream of income and not have to add a million more tasks to her to-do list. Because we talked about the funnel. We talked about the email autoresponders. She can literally copy and paste to respond to people. She knows what to say. So some of you, you know, people know about you. You got an audience. People know what you do, but you don't really know what you do well enough to package it, well enough to position it in a way that it's not going to stress you out. Position it in a way that you can actually make money, okay? And so it's so important for you to understand that you got to be consistent and you got to be consistently doing the right things. Some of you are posting on a, on a daily basis, but there's no strategy. So you're posting five times a day, but you're not getting any engagement. You're not converting any of those followers into funds because there's no strategy. And if there is a strategy, you're not being consistent enough with that strategy. The fourth reason why your marketing might not be making you money is because you're selling the right stuff, but to the wrong people. So do you even know your market? Do you know who your target client is? Not who you want to work with, but who's the person that sees value and what you have to offer? 
when I started the Single Wives Club, I was working with anybody, anybody who had the coins, anybody who, who thought they were a single wife, anybody who identified with my story. I was all over the place in my messaging. And because my messaging was not clear, my marketing was not clear. Okay. And so sometimes you got the right stuff, but you're selling it to the wrong people. You have to be really, really clear about who is going to see value in what you have to offer. Not just who's going to think it's cute and like it on Instagram. Who's actually going to see value in paying for it? Who's going to see value in investing in it? Does your audience actually want and value what it is that you offer? Sometimes it can be as simple as polling your people. Survey your audience and ask them what they want from you. Survey your audience and ask them what they are willing to spend. Survey your audience and ask them what topics, what products they want, what they're interested in, what they want from you. It's really that simple. If you are, you know, feeling frustrated because you have this audience, but they are not converting, you might not be selling the right thing to the right audience. Not to say that you got to get rid of that audience, but that means that you're, you're then going to have to go and, and find out what that audience actually wants, what they value, and what they're willing to pay you for. Okay? Sometimes you are selling yourself to the wrong people because you've partnered with the wrong people. Partnerships can be super, super beneficial for your business, but it has to be the right partners. When I first started the Single Wives Club, I was partnering with, I don't even want to say what this person did, but let's just say this person did not have the right audience. So even though she had 70,000 followers, it didn't really work out for me. It didn't turn into money because her audience wasn't really a single wife. They weren't really the single women who saw the need to invest in themselves to be a wife. Okay, so yes, this partner looked good, on the outside, right? Those 75,000 followers looked really good, but it didn't convert into money. It wasn't really beneficial because it wasn't the right partnership. And so you can't just be so thirsty to partner with somebody that got a lot of people, okay? Don't be so thirsty to partner with somebody that has a lot of followers if their followers aren't really people that are gonna be interested in what you have to offer or aren't really gonna be interested um, or see the value and paying and investing in what you have to offer. If you are marketing your products to people on platforms that they are not present on, you're not gonna see a return on your investment. If you're trying to market to teens on Facebook, you're not gonna see a return on your investment. If you're trying to market to old people on Instagram, you're probably not gonna see a return on your investment, okay? So it, it's really important that you have a strategy behind what you're selling and who you're selling it to. You can think your product is great all day, but if you are trying to sell, sell that great product to the wrong people or sell that great product to, to the wrong people on the wrong platform, then you're not gonna get paid. And so day two, of the Get Paid Challenge is all about marketing yourself in a way that not only sells your story, not only positions yourself that, so that people knows you, not only gives you a strategy so that you are consistent in your marketing, but will also help you to sell your amazing products to people who will respect you, people who will value you, and people who will see the value in an investment. Okay, and so these are some of the mistakes that I've made in my business. In order to make money on a daily basis, you are going to have to do daily money making activities. That means you're going to have to be consistent in your marketing. That means that, you know, it doesn't make sense to spend hours writing a blog or creating a video or working on your book if you didn't even spend an hour on your marketing strategy. If you didn't even spend time really figuring out how you're gonna get people on this email list, how you're gonna get traffic to your website, who you're gonna partner with so that you can get some exposure, how you're actually gonna turn this product into a paycheck, okay? So it's very, very important that you are marketing yourself 
and positioning yourself in the right way on a consistent basis. Now, once again, I am going to invite you to take action, to really, truly not just take this information and sit on it, not just consume this information and you know take it back and, and leave it in your notebook and go on about your business. I really want to invite you to stop talking about it and start being about it. And so once again, I have sent you all an email on how you can take action. If you are really ready to work, if you are really ready to get some strategies so that you can have some structures behind your business, so that you can put some systems in place, then go to that email, find out how we can work together one-on-one -on -one so that you can take action and put some strategy behind your marketing, okay? Yesterday was all about having the right mindset. Today is all about having the right marketing behind your product. Even if you don't have a business or a brand just yet, we can definitely work together to come up with a strategy so that you even know which ideas should take priority. Because a lot of you all are sitting on great ideas simply because you don't know which great idea to move forward with. You're not sure which amazing idea is actually going to make you money. So let's talk about it. Let's work on it. But I promise you, if you do not take action, you are going to find yourself stuck in the same old spot wondering why everybody else is getting to it wondering why everybody else is getting wealthy okay i hope that this has been helpful i hope that you have enjoyed day two of our get paid challenge please go on over to instagram let me know some things that you took away from tonight's lesson i truly appreciate you sticking through these technical difficulties Go check your email right now for information on how you can take action and get to work. Be back here tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Day three is all about monetization and you won't want to miss it. I will see you there.